welcome back to the channel guys today is friday march 1st and we are going to be hauling manure because hey the uh temperature is allowing us to we are pumping out of the new barn we forgot to yesterday i want to put the lay extensions on the manure pump here i'm gonna do that here quickly and then i'm gonna get the cleaning up feed and then i'm gonna get to haul manure so yeah some feed uh, isn't that right 3104 start the tractors a while let them warm up and do their whole transmission calibration transmission calibration didn't take long it's mostly just to warm up
see creep out. Oh, this is crazy. All empty. Come here. Didn't really get any uh, other uh, pole action that was going on. Uh, here's a nice up close of what's happening here. Buddy, Tony Roar here, Roar Dairy Farm. Um, it's March 14th. Feels more like April 14th. Um, it's 10 o'clock in the morning here. It's 55 degrees. I think it's supposed to be in the 60s today for sure. Uh, I'm not sure what region of the 60s, but it's going to be nice out. Um, I am in York County. Um, we have few acres over here that we raise corn uh, for high moisture corn for the dairy and um, I'm gonna spread chicken litter uh, that we hold over um, it's kind of been sitting a while the weather uh, didn't really cooperate when I move over I like to get it all knocked out at once if I can uh, we use the wheel loader and um, <clears throat> we have two wheel loaders in the dairy 544 and a 624k that uh, um, we use for feeding the cows and heifers and uh, so it's, we can do everything with one but it's nice to have a spare around so I'm trying to uh, get this knocked out here this week yet um, it's a Thursday uh, 
I got a little done last night, not what I wanted to. Um, on the way over, I blew a hydraulic line on the wheel loader, um, which seemed like it was a low pressure line. Um, but it uh, ended up being a high pressure line, but it was on, on the fan circuit loop, um, which hindsight that ended up being the last line I looked at. There was about six different lines that my brother and I were looking at and uh, uh, pulled them and actually routed them on the out. We're able to route them on the outside and check for leaks. It just, it was in the belly under the, like behind the motor and it was full of dirt. It just wasn't the nicest uh, to work on. Um, so it ended up being the last line I looked at, which was a high pressure line. And um, when you start the wheel loader, it kind of gives a burst to the fan where the fan runs kind of wide open briefly, but then backs off. And every time we started it, we could tell there was a little bit extra oil that it would burst out, but it, it just wasn't very evident. Uh, so we, that was the last line we pulled and routed on the outside. Well, I think just pulling it and twisting it in a different direction, um, as soon as uh, Mike started to load her way, it sprayed oil everywhere, and so we found the right one. And uh, while I was at it, I replaced a, another hose as well. But um, we are spoiled in Lancaster County, as all our ground is within two miles of the dairy. Um, at this point, I was probably about 14 miles from home. Um, still not the end of the world, but when you're used to having everything in your backyard, why it, it's uh, definitely different. So uh, there was a probably a five hour time period that uh, the loader was sitting and uh, until I got it going again, uh, which included a trip back to the dairy uh, to get oil and um, get the hoses made. So got moved over last evening and spread 40 some acres um, and uh, we got roughly 280 to go um, hoping to knock it out this week yet but that's pending uh, that everything falls into place um, we have a chance of rain Friday I'm not sure how much of a chance uh, it doesn't sound like it's a real huge deal but um, wouldn't be the first time that we got more than they were calling for as well so of course it wouldn't be the first time we don't get anything either so we'll see what happens there but again it's a beautiful day um, beautiful day for a drive I always enjoy the trip over here um, a little more brisk this morning than sometimes but um, it's just a lot of country over here so I'm rolling up in the field here uh, this farm is roughly uh, 65 acres um, actually a friend of mine he works for sky blue Ashland had uh, Kevin Ebersole he works for sky blue and Ashland's had him in some videos it looks like they cleaned up the pile that they had here um, he got a jump start I had a meeting that um, had previously planned for this morning so I wasn't able to start when I, uh, I think I'm just gonna pull up to the tractor to get my lunchbox out and stuff but yeah, didn't get started as early as I would have liked to. It's, it's 10 o'clock already, so I'm showing up late to the game. All right, we're going to scoop some poop. Get us a load here. The ground is really greasy underneath. I, the stuff's been piled here for a while, a little longer than we would have liked, really. But we'll get it.
well with traction being an issue it's hard to get full scoops which i like big scoops but uh hard to do out here so first load loaded of the day it's time to go scatter it i was gonna say good morning everybody but it's afternoon it's friday the 15th march 15th i'm still in york county i didn't really i think i loaded a load up and never really showed much after that uh, i'm at our last farm now called it the muddy creek farm uh, i was way at the other end of the farm it got empty and i don't even you probably can't even see it but well, the mirror's blocking it, but uh, there's a red barn in the distance, the wheel loaders to the left of that, the pile manure. Um, this farm is almost three quarters of a mile long, or at least six tenths for sure, um, so it's some long rows. Uh, I believe I have one more load over on this side. Well, probably two because there's a little field, but I'm um, hoping to get done today. Um, Yesterday was a big day, got a lot done. Um, assuming everything uh, keeps going here, why well, we should be able to finish up today with the chicken litter. Crossing the Wrightsville Bridge, crossing the 30 Bridge. Um, Wrightsville has a limit, so now I get to take up a lane on the highway and make people uh, ruffle some feathers. But it is very, you get a nice view from a tractor up on this bridge. This week has been a pretty uh, mild week when it comes to how much rain we got. We really got nothing. Uh, maybe just a spritz here and there, but next week we're gonna be hauling some liquid, finish up our winter hauling. It's not gonna, the ground's not gonna be frozen, it's gonna be dry, which will be very nice. We'll be able to go all day, so. Man, this bridge is long, especially when you're only going 26 miles an hour. Sometimes just working with 
without worrying about a camera is nice. But it's I'm tired for a Saturday morning. So I'm sorry if I seem out of it. But we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now. God bless.